Hello and welcome to another Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist. This week's question is, what's the best way to figure out the right PhD career path for you? We get this question a lot, and this is from Ben Simon. Great question, I'm very excited to answer this one because most PhDs make a mistake here. Are you making this mistake? Okay, what's the mistake? You're looking at the bright, shiny job titles. Okay, as a PhD, you were likely drawn to the idea of just being a doctor, of being a PhD. Um, you're motivated to reach the highest levels, the highest levels certainly in academia. And the same is gonna be true when you go to industry. You're gonna be very motivated to reach the highest levels you can in industry. So you're gonna ask yourself, what's the best job title I can get right now? What sounds the most impressive? This is a mistake. Because you might think, for example, that, ooh, management consultant sounds very impressive. I like the sound of that. Um, I think people would respect that. Oh, medical science liaison, I like the sound of that. That's new, it's impressive. Um, it's uh, it's gonna bring me more respect. So you're thinking in terms of the job titles that sound the best, even though you don't know what you're gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis in those jobs. And that's what got you into the position you're in now. You thought about being a doctor, a PhD, you didn't realize that you'd have to spend all of your time begging for money. Okay, writing all day long grants to ask for money. You didn't think that you'd be, you'd be under the stress that you're currently under. You didn't think that you'd have such little support. You didn't think you'd be working in such a uh, bureaucratic institution. You didn't think there'd be so many other academic PhDs and that the salary would be so low. In short, you didn't think about what you'd be doing on a day-to-day -day basis professionally. So that's where you need to start. You need to map out what do you want your professional lifestyle to look like. The best way to do this is to think about what a day in the life of you as your future professional in industry, what would that day look like? What would the average week look like? How much would you be traveling, right? Where would you be in terms of pay? Is it the uh, position where you're paid the most, like a sales position or a position where you're just paid um, uh, adequately and, and you're paid a little bit less because you're working in house? Uh, a field position, a commercialization position? Uh, is it a very innovative position? What, what would you be doing? Is it a numbers heavy position? Is it a, a, a data heavy position? All of these questions matter. Uh, I mean, it's something that you need to consider. What do you want that week, that day to look like? How much time do you want to spend in meetings? Do you want to be in big meetings, small meetings? Do you want to work with a large company, a small company? Uh, does it need to be a global brand or can it be a smaller, fast growing company that's gonna have more cash on hand to give you bigger bonuses? Start thinking in terms of the day to day. And once you figure out the professional lifestyle you want, then you can fit a job title to that, right? So if you're thinking, oh, I want to be a management consultant, but then you start looking at the professional lifestyle you want, maybe you have kids, you don't want to travel very much, it's not going to be a good fit for you because you might have to go to a different country for six to eight or more weeks working 18 hour days. Just won't be a good fit. Maybe you want more work-life balance. Maybe at the same time you were thinking medical science liaison, but they travel 80% of the time right, or more. Uh, and we've seen it uh, quite a bit and you're thinking, well, I can't be away uh, from my family, I just don't like to travel that much, whatever it is. So you have to consider your professional lifestyle first before being drawn to these shiny job titles and then fit a job title to that. Hopefully this helps you. As always, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.